Hey everyone, it's Alan from SwingingToHappy.com and today I'm going to talk about hitting the 350 pound mark on the scale which if you watched my Sunday check-in video you know that that happened for me um, this week and somebody emailed me and they wanted me to talk about what it felt like and so I started thinking about it and you know it did feel amazing it felt absolutely amazing um, it felt great that you know after all it's been a couple of years I've been working on this since 2009 which is when I say my official beginning on this journey was 2009 but it took me a long time to really learn how to really do this and how to sustain it and how to incorporate how just how to fit everything into my life and not feel like I'm out of control or out of balance um, and what, what it really felt like to hit 350 pounds was it feels like for the last few years I've been climbing this steep mountain I mean very steep and I could see the top but I couldn't see what was behind it when I got to the top but I've been climbing this mountain since 2009 and I'd get a little bit I'll get up a, a little bit I'd fall down a little bit I'd get back up climb some more I'd lose my footing and fall down again and I did that over and over but every time I got up and started climbing again I would get a little bit further and every time I'd, I'd fall down I wouldn't fall down as, as far so over the you know over these years I've been slowly just getting up to the top of this mountain and um, weighing in on Sunday and reaching the top was amazing and and when I felt like the, when I'm and in my head what I see I see myself on top of this mountain and now I can finally see what's behind it and it's another hill it's another mountain and it's steep. <laughs> And it's, it's gonna, it looks hard, it looks tough, and again, I can't see what's behind it. Uh, I can't see what's behind it at the top. I can see the top, but I just can't see what's behind it. And uh, to me, that, that mountain that I'm, that's in front of me right now is the 300 pound mark. Um, you know, it's 50 pounds away, and I'm gonna have to climb, keep climbing. And I'm sure I'll lose my footing at times, but uh, the, the key is just to keep climbing. Um, that, that's the easiest way I can describe it. You know, it's just been a long time coming. I've been waiting to see this number, for, and I know the scale. I know the scale is not everything, but I have to use the scale as one of my sources of progress. I mean, I just have to. With the amount of weight I have to lose, it has to be one source of progress. And um, I've been waiting to see this number for, like I said, for a long time. I, at times, I never thought it would come. You know, I haven't weighed this much probably since. Or this light since early 2000s. Um, yeah, I'll say early 2000s. So uh, it was a great feeling, you know. And 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 that's you know kind of what I just want to tell everybody is that you gotta take it mountain by mountain. You know, you can't look at the overall mountain chain. You gotta look at one mountain at a time, and you gotta focus to get to the top of it. And when you get to the top, you worry about the next one. You know, I've broken down my weight loss. You know, I have like roughly, I have over 250 pounds that I had to lose. Um, and I've lost 130 so far. But, I mean, looking at the overall picture, imagine trying to lose 250 pounds. That's overwhelming for anybody. I don't care how mentally tough you are or how strong you are. It is overwhelming. And what worked for me was breaking it up into 50-pound milestones major milestones, right? And in between them I have the minor milestones, minus, ugh, milestones. And those are 10 pounds. I worry about 10 pounds at a time. That's all. When I lose those 10 pounds, I move on to the next 10 pounds and so on. And if you do that, before you know it, you'll hit one major milestone, which in my case will be 50 pounds. Once you hit that, I'm back on to the 10 pounds, 10, 10 to the next one. Um, for me, that has been like crucial. The only way that I could get through this without losing my, my mind. Um, so I would encourage you guys to do the same. I don't know how much weight you have to lose. It doesn't have to be 50 pound increments. Maybe it's, if you want to lose 50 pounds, make, it your, make your 10 pound mark your major milestone. And make the 5 pound mark your, your minor milestones. Do that. Break it up, whatever you see fit. But do not focus on the big mountain chain 
right now. Like I said, you have to take it one step at a time. Um, it's it's mentally draining if you if you if you don't do it if you do it the other way. It really is, and you're gonna get burnt out. And you're gonna get discouraged, and you're gonna give up, and you're gonna want to give up, and you might give up for a little bit and, and start again. But you know, time is ticking, guys. Time does not stop for me, you, or anybody. We all have a limited amount of time on this earth, and for me personally, I want to make the best of it. I don't want to live in my past. I don't want to regret the past. I want to make the rest of my life the best of my life. That's something that Eric Thomas says, so that's not my saying, so I give credit to him. But that's just how I want to do it. You know, I'm tired of tired of not enjoying life. And um, so that's how it really felt for me to hit 350. I really, really, really encourage you guys to do the whole, do the milestone, break it up, and focus on it in small portions. And you'll see that over time, it all adds up. It will all add up, and before you know, you'll have hit your goal. Now, I'm planning this year to be the 200s. So, 350 was, uh, you know, a great major milestone. But I'm planning to get into the 200s. I want to see a two something something on my way at the end of the year. Personal goal, and I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna try to do it. I'm going to do it, and you can do it too. And I want you to believe that. Because I believe it. I believe in myself and I believe in you. So, do it. Until next time, guys, take care. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below or email me. Either way, I'm here for you. Take care.